Hi, I'm Jill Maurer. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, we talk all about design. And today, I'm sharing with you the five things I do to keep myself more productive. So the first thing I do is I follow a routine. Now, sometimes people get nervous, and I actually kind of got nervous when I thought about this. Oh, I don't want to be tied to a routine. But it doesn't have to be anybody else's routine but mine. So I know which days I work. I know which days I shoot video. I try to get up the same time every day, even on the weekends, or at least roughly go to sleep at about the same time. If I'm going to have an appointment, say, a hair appointment or a nail appointment, I know what time slot that goes into and what is easy for me to work in my schedule and even with the traffic. If somebody asks me, I'd like to meet with you, when can we meet? I already know in my head, kind of when I have times blocked out where I know that I can meet with people. And so it just makes it easier for me with scheduling and also with just not being tired, you know, making sure that I am, that I'm well rested and that I am doing what I need to do. And it makes life easier for me. The second thing I do is edit. I edit a lot. So I edit things. I, I try not to have a lot of things in my life that require maintenance or require me to think about, or you know, even a closet that is just full of stuff, me knowing it's full of stuff and one day I've got to clean that out, that is just emotional, it's just clutter. It's clutter in my mind that I don't want to live with. So I edit, for example, in the morning, um, what's in my bathroom, the makeup that I have, um, everything that I need to get ready in the morning, is edited. I don't have extraneous stuff in there that's in my way. I keep my clothes pretty well edited. Um, so the stuff around me is edited and, and I work better if things around me are tidy. So if my space is not tidy, I'm not being as productive. So I also edit my time. So I really took a look at Kind of things that I did and did they make sense for me to do anymore. So there were subscriptions to some magazines that reading them really wasn't enhancing my life. Um, I edited them out. Uh, there are emails that I would get that were enticing me to go look at sites every day. Maybe it be a sale site or a you know those sites that have something new for you to look at and shop every day. I really I unsubscribed, edited that out so that I could be more focused on what I wanted to do during the day, not being bombarded with people telling me what they wanted me to do during the day. Number three is delegate. I have gotten really good at delegating and um, I do remember in my first company, uh, I didn't delegate very well and once I started to do that and really learn that not only can somebody do something as well as I can, they can actually do it better than I can. Well, that, that floodgate was open. Then I got really good at delegating. It is a beautiful thing. So even if you're just starting out or you are, you know, you're not in a position where you think you can delegate a lot, there are things that you can delegate. You can stop and think, does it make sense that I spend half of my Saturday every day, every week cleaning. Does that really make sense? Or can I delegate this? Maybe my house could be professionally cleaned once a month, every other week, whatever it is, and I can get that off my plate. Your taxes, I mean, how long do you take doing your taxes? Is that something that you could pay somebody who does that for a living to do and do it better? Once you, once you start doing this, you realize there may be a lot of aspects in your life that you can actually delegate. There'll be the things that take a lot of time or that you just dread doing. There's whatever it is, there's somebody out there who loves doing it and probably does it professionally. Number four, I call focus bursts. So there are some things that are going to take a lot of my concentration or they're, they're going, they're things that I have to do. Even I can't delegate them. I don't want to do them, or maybe they're just hard to do. It's good to have what I call focus bursts. So what that means is I'm going to be working on one thing. I may have a hundred things to do, but right now I'm going to work on this one thing. I turn off my phone or put it somewhere else. 
I don't check email. I don't, I, you know, I'm not allowing myself to be distracted. And for a set period of time, I'm going to have a focus burst. And that can be, depending on the task, it can be 15 minutes, it could be an hour. It may be a project I know is gonna take weeks, but if I can have a focus burst for an hour and really know that's all I'm focusing on, I often surprise myself by how much I get done during that time. During a focus burst too, one of the things that I'll do is I'll take a big project and I'll chunk it down and I'll say, these are the pieces that I'm gonna do. And I'll even sort of fool myself, like I'm not really doing all of this, I'm just doing this, <laughs> this one little piece. And what I find is that big, hairy projects, when broken down into chunks, the chunk is actually easy to do, and I can often knock it out with a focus burst. Number five is joy. Joy makes me so much more productive. So um, this, this infiltrates all aspects of my life, and you know we all have had our ups and downs, and there are hard times and there are good times. And even in the hard times, I focus on maintaining joy. I look, what is the bright side? What is fun about this moment? What is fun about today? This is also, I surround myself with people who I find joy being around. There are people I, I just, they enrich me and fulfill me and are joyful. And you may not be able to do that all the time, but do it as much as you can. And with every week that you look at, just I ask myself, did I do something this week just because it was fun? No other reason, just because it was fun. I wanna have joy in my life and it makes me more productive because I move forward into my tasks with a wonderful attitude about what it is that I'm doing. So design is everywhere and, and we design our own lives. And this is how I design my life. I use these five things to help myself be more productive. I hope you enjoyed this video. I upload videos every week, always about design. I hope you'll subscribe and join me. See you soon.